Once in a while, an anime game comes around and goes by unnoticed, even if it is based on a popular anime show like this one. That time I reincarnated as a slime, Isekai Chronicles, came out late last week, and I'm hearing absolutely no buzz about it. And judging by how this game looks, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. Today we're gonna play this game for a bit, I am about one hour into the game already. I wanted to bring you the first hour of gameplay, but it was so boring that I decided to delete it. It's like, there's a lot of tutorials and it feels like the game is about to open up, but I don't know if it actually is. The game follows the anime and at this point the ogres have now joined the village, so that's where we're at. Here's uh, Ogre Master, right here. Their village was attacked by orcs, and so we have accepted them in our village, not only out of the kindness of our own hearts, but also because the orcs might come for us next, so uh, it's good to have the soldiers. This game is a visual novel, a town builder, and a side-scroller beat-em-up. Yep, it's all three of those, but none of those things are particularly complex on their own. So we'll see where the game goes during this next hour. So while in town, you accept missions and then you leave town and go on these expeditions. This is where you get the side-scrolling beat-em-up part of the game. Of course, you can play as Rimuru, but also as other characters. And there are a lot of playable characters, but well, let me show you the basics, though. Because uh, they kind of did some stuff with uh, this game's fighting system. Okay, all right, we're just getting hit already. That's... Uh, we're getting comboed, but it's fine. It's fine. We break that guy's shield and check this out. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. They kind of built a combo system. I, I kind of vibe with this, but then after a while, it's just like, oh, uh, these combos are just, just, oh, anything works. Cool. All right. <laughs> and it can get a little bit repetitive, but you do unlock new skills over time. Uh, you just saw a special move there. Oh, yeah. After each battle, you're going to hear this little jingle and play this little animation. Yep. After every single battle. Let me get this uh, chest that we run into here. Perfect. Ooh. Uh, white egg. Uh, so this is stuff that you mostly use to build new buildings over in town. I don't know if there's any crafting beyond that. Again, I'm like one hour in and there are still a lot of tutorials going on. The ogres just joined me. This is the first time uh, I'm playing with them. I just got this special called auto battle mode. I don't think it's actually an auto battle. I think it's just the name of the special move, which is kind of misleading. I also have this flare circle. I completely missed. There are a few things that I really like regarding the style of this game. Uh, the chest is not one of them, but we got that. For instance, I really like the look of special attacks. If I use my ultimate here with Rimuru, it triggers anime, actual anime. And then he does Predator, uh, and Predator doesn't absorb anything, you know, as you would expect. That's the ability in the show, like, Rimuru is a slime, he uses Predator, absorbs the opponent's abilities, doesn't really happen here. I think if you make a bigger budget game, that's kind of the way you go with a slime game. You make an actual RPG where you actually have to use that ability to absorb new skills. But they went with a smaller budget game for this one, which I am not against. I'm actually I'm actually very much in favor of smaller budget games for, for anime. Uh, the thing is, you cannot price them as if they were AAA games, or close to. This game is not AAA priced. It is uh, 50 bucks, I believe. But like... This is not a 50 bucks game, or it doesn't look like it, at least. Not yet. All right, powerful enemy. Uh, th th this doesn't change combat too much. Oh, we do have to ch dodge that. We broke a shield there. All right, and the rest should be on autopilot. Let's actually switch characters, because that's something you can do. And I've never played as these guys. Uh, so, hey, let's see his ultimate. Does he have anime? Some characters don't have an anime ultimate. It's so lame. But as I was saying, I'm really not against... Uh, smaller budget anime games. I, I think they're great. I think it allows you to experiment without like taking a huge loss and You know you, you try the waters you, you see like okay Are people actually interested in this or are we just wasting our money? Honestly, I would love to see more low-budget games more indie uh, anime games 100% But you can't price them like this if you're making an indie game price them like an indie game yeah, that's a basic combat encounter. That's the basics of side-scrolling combat. There are a few unique things to each character. Uh, I didn't try the old man, the old ogre man, but I know he could hold down the attack button to do something special, for instance. That's something that, that not all characters have. And then it's basically the specials are different. You know, the normals look different, but they don't change too much. They don't have different properties. It's not like playing each character is so unique, but they do have some unique features to them. Here's a little bit of that visual novel I told you guys about. Most of the story is told like this. Sometimes it does go into anime slideshows, and sometimes it has full-on cutscenes, which have kind of a weird style, but I actually kind of like it. 
It's also fully voiced, by the way. I haven't found anything that wasn't voiced so far. Looks like this is actually the perfect time to record this walkthrough, because uh, the town is getting a bit small, you know, because uh, more people are joining, so we need to go uh, gather materials. We need some high-quality wood, so let's get out there. Let's change this party. So, Benny Maru, we've tried him out. We can change him out. Like We just got all of these guys, like, all of these people. Like, Ranga and Globta. Uh, sorry, Gopta. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue slip there. There's a talent tree for each character, but they all look exactly the same except for the supports. Supports have a different tree, but... Luckily, if you don't want, you don't have to level up each one individually. You can just press uh, auto-collect and it like levels it up for you automatically. So, yeah, that's that's helpful, actually, because there's, there's a lot. You still have to click them one by one. So I still have to go here and press it, but, you know, better than nothing. By the way, uh, the sage, which is like the narrator of this game and of the show too, uh, keeps saying this. I know what that means, but I think it's funnier if I pretend that I don't. I don't think it should say that in a children's game. All right, let's do this. All right, good, uh, good break there. Let's switch over. Let's see what this man does. It just, okay, we finished them. Uh-huh, keep the combo going. The fight is over, but we you can just keep juggling them. Uh, high quality wood. Nice. I got some high quality... Alright, Mystic, Threat, Strike. What does he do? That's kind of sick. I can pick up the combo. Oh, oh. Yeah, single combos are killing everyone at this point. And we're still at the start of the game, by the way. But yeah, uh, fights never got much more complex than that, with the exception of one boss fight so far. So I'm looking forward to the next boss fight, but like, this side-scroller beat-him-up thing is not giving me a ton of variety. Even though I just unlocked this character. Let me go, uh, old man. He can hold down a button. Okay, yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, here's what assists do. So support characters, you just call them. They do an anime attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Binding Blade. She just broke all those, uh... All those guards, bro. I'm not done. I'm not done. I am done. It won't let me play anymore. All right. It's a strong boss, but it's just a normal enemy. So if I press up special, nothing happens because I don't have meter. Yep. Okay, now I do. Crest water slash. Oh, it's a counter. Yeah, it's the first time we have a counter. By the way, uh, here's, whoa, here's the other support. Uh, let's go here and... Do it! All units charge! <laughs> okay. Pop, 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 pop. Nicely done. Next. So yeah, now you've seen uh, two battle encounters. What did you think? Okay, so we have the materials. Let's start a village. I don't know what this is. I've seen a little bit of building, but starting a whole ass village, I haven't done that. Let's see what happens. So apparently I just talked to the guy and the whole village shows up. <laughs> Maybe this uh, just creates like more spaces for me to make some buildings and whatnot. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. If there's actually gameplay tied to this, or if it's just like a visual overhaul. Buildings available. Open menu. New building can be constructed. Yeah, this opened up a lot. So I can make buildings not just anywhere, but I can make them in these uh, preset spaces. Like I've built these uh, three, four houses, I think. These four, I think I, I built them already. So these are actually new buildings. Ho uh, the Hobgob's uh, Tavern, Cloth House. These ones down here were ones I already had. And building stuff uh, increases your stats. So that's uh, a way that you level up. It's basically whatever you do in town increases your stats. In this case, the Adventurous Inn increases your HP. Oh boy, there are a lot of quests now. Uh, what's going on here? I gotta make a... Yeah, weaving workshop. I don't have the money. I need three materials. Yeah, because uh, we need clothes, right? For everyone. Required party formulation differs from following quest side quest. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So for a side quest, I actually probably need to have Golbata. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you got to keep that in mind. Sometimes quests require you to have certain characters. All right, Golbata. We're gathering stuff for your stupid little game. Let's go. Perfect dodge. Perfect punish there. After you perfectly dodge someone, you can uh, press the attack button and it will like instantly break someone's guard. Shadow movement. Ooh. Uh, let's switch to uh, Xion. Haven't tried her yet, so why not? Two specials 
And I think she can also hold down uh, the attack button to do like a strong attack. More crystals. Oh, we got all the crystals. Nice. Can we just leave? We can. Should I just do that, actually? Does that keep my items? Yeah, totally. Okay. Because I got some good rolls on the on the chest, I get to finish the mission early. Cool. Okay, I think now we have enough money for this, but we're still missing that quest item on the bottom right. So I think we gotta go out there and explore the new area that just opened up. All right, here's Shion. Uh, what's she do? Maximum magic bullets. Yeah, it's big. Oh, 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 oh. Charge it up. Okay, what? Charge it up. Okay. Uh, bullet again. Okay, I forgot. I should should do the other special to see what it is. Hey, we got one out of three items there. Uh, this is a new area, so we actually don't know the layout. We have to discover as we go. All right, what's this special? Ogre sword cannon. Oh, it's a beam. Oh, we got Getsuka Tensho over here. All right, what do you got? Voice cannon. It's a wind attack. There is like a whole... Uh, elemental wheel on this, but like <laughs> they they I think they have a wind symbol I don't know what my symbol is basically Ranga has a good defense against something Which is that symbol next to the heart down there? I think that's space, but I'm not sure see though So there are eight attack attributes void fire water wind space earth light dark. Okay, so I guess it is space. Hey, that's a new guy Powerful enemy detected indeed Black lightning! So this is a space against water. Oh god. Oh, 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 Ranga, do your thing. Do do anime, do anime. See, he doesn't get anime. He just he just gets a PNG. Uh fire is probably not very useful against uh against this guy. Because he's a water type. Uh, 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 uh. Or is he a water type? Or does he have big defense against water? I forget what the what the uh, icons mean. I think it means he has big defense against water. Alright, so we have 200% on the special, so we can trigger the anime. Do it, Predator! Sweet. Okay, so with that, we can come back to the village, and now we can build the shop that uh, makes clothes. I don't know if it actually makes clothes, or if it's just a story thing, and you need to build before you move on. I don't think there's anything you can do on any buildings particularly. Like, you can interact with them and they'll give you buffs. You can use that once per outing or once per mission. Like, if I interact with this building before leaving, I get more luck and more defense. But I think that's it. I think this is the game. Like, you basically go out, you gather ingredients. Those ingredients allow you to build something. And building that something advances the story a little bit until you have an all-out war. I hope we have a boss fight soon. I mean, I guess that lizard, scorpion, chameleon thing was kind of a boss fight. Next, we gotta build a farm. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get a new boss fight anytime soon. Uh, because we are in the building phase of this game, apparently. So, I'm gonna call it right here. Uh, you, it's, it's hard to say how much this game will evolve. Uh, to me, it's just not evolving quick enough. I mean, yeah, it's got visual novel, building, and side-scrolling beat-em-up. But, like, none of those things are incredible. They're okay. And okay is not bad if you're not asking for 50 bucks. I would love to see more games of this scale. I would love to see more games trying new things. But when you're making an indie game, you gotta price it like an indie game. You, you can't ask for this much. This is just gonna fly under everyone's radar because it's really hard to recommend, bro. Unless you guys tell me in the comments that, no, actually, keep playing because it's gonna explode in the next two hours. Like, you're not ready for how much this game is gonna evolve. But unless there's something drastic like that, yeah, I, I don't think so, buddy. But of course, this is not a review. This is just my first impression after playing this game for a couple of hours. If you're a slime fan, let me know what kind of game you would like them to make with this anime. And if you want to see me try something else, the last time I did this was with the solo leveling game, Solo Leveling Rise. You can check that video out right here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.